Hot corners, what are they and how to set them up coming up on this week's tech tip, so stick around. What is going on everybody? So today I have another quick and easy tech tip for you guys. Now I'm not a long-term user of a MacBook Pro. However, I went through and I discovered what they call hot corners. So I went through over the past week, set them up and I absolutely freaking love them. Now, of course, if you've used a Mac for a while, you already know what hot corners probably are. You're laughing at me, calling me a rookie. However, if you haven't, here's what they are. They essentially allow you to take each one of the corners of your screen, and when you move your mouse to that corner, it essentially will do something that you told it to do, like open up Launchpad, Mission Control, open your screen saver, lock the screen, etc. So today, we're gonna go through, I'm gonna show you how to set those up, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So to get this party started, there's two different ways that you can access the hot corner settings. You can either go up to Spotlight Search up here in the top right hand corner and typing in hot corners, as you can see, I've got that in the list, hot corners. And then you're gonna want to choose desktop and screen saver, or you can go up to the little Apple menu in the top left hand corner, go to system preferences and click on desktop and screen saver here. Either option is gonna take you to the exact same spot. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on desktop and screensaver, and it's gonna take us into those settings. Now you may default right here where it says desktop. We're actually gonna to wanna to come over to where it says screensaver and left click on screensaver. Now from here, a bunch of screensavers are going to load, but you can go ahead and ignore those because we're going to go to the bottom right hand corner of this window and we're gonna click on hot corners. Now, as you can see, a little window popped up here. Of course, you've got four corners on your screen, so you can set up four different hot corners. So if we go into the top left right here, we can click on this little drop down, and we can choose start screensaver, disable screensaver, mission control, application windows. You can show your desktop, go to notification center. So if you have like stocks and stuff set up in there, you can set that up. You can go to launch pad, put display to sleep, or you can go ahead and click on lock screen. So we're gonna go through I'm gonna set these up real quick. So if we do the top left, let's do, we'll say launch pad. Bottom left, we'll go, uh, we'll, do, we'll just say lock the screen. Top right, let's do notification center. And then we're gonna leave the bottom right blank. So I've got these set up. So if I move my mouse into the top left corner, you can see that it's going to bring up launch pad. And if I go back to that corner, it's going to close it again. Now again, if we go down into the bottom left, it's going to lock the screen. However, I'm not gonna do that because it will probably stop the recording. But then if, going, if we go into the top right hand corner, it should bring up my notification center. So if we click do that. Now, of course, you can include certain widgets in the notification center. So this is just an extra level of customization. So having the notification center set up as one of the hot corners is definitely one of my favorites. So you can see we've got calendar, we've got stocks in there, you can add your weather, you've got events scheduled for tomorrow or whatever you can go in there. Those are just a few things that you can set up. Again, you are pretty limited on this list. However, if you are savvy, there might be a way that you can go in and customize some of this stuff and actually add some stuff to it. I'm not that savvy, especially with a Mac. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the basic list. In any case, whenever you have whatever you want set up, all you need to do is just click on OK, and then you can close out of the desktop and screensaver settings, and you've officially gone through and set up the hot corners to do the tasks that you want them to do. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, it's a really straightforward process to go in and set up your hot corners and can actually save you a little bit of time, especially for when you're wanting to do some of those basic tasks. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this week's tech tip. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to show me some love by giving the video a big old thumbs up and a share. And also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you guys are notified of those future uploads. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.